everyone, I'm Edita Sitar from Laundry Basket Quilts. Welcome to Quilting Window. It is time to make more baskets for our Enas Basket Block of the Month. I am so excited for you. We are working on our block number six and we're working on block a basket 16, 17 and 18. What a treat. Everyone is working so hard and can you imagine we only have few more months and you're going to have a beautiful amazing quilt put together. In our basket for today your supplies you're going to need is a pattern and I already have mine on the table so excited about it. Now some of you are making the quilt using our pre-cut blocks and they're going to be coming to you shortly or maybe you already received your blocks. So those are the little blocks. Each basket is packed in a different baggie so it's really nice and easy. You should not have any problems. All the pieces are nicely pre-cut and they're laser cut so the edges are not fraying as you're working and that's the pieces that I'm going to be using when I'm making my blocks. Some of you are using our regular kit where you're getting all this beautiful fabrics and you're cutting your own fabrics and the, all the pieces using the measurements on the first two pages in a pattern so you are ready set go so if you're doing this make sure press your fabric before you cut it and everything should work beautifully Anybody that is just joining us in, if you would like to play with this quilt and make some blocks with us, just go ahead to our website and purchase one of our bundles from, Anna, uh, from our seamstress collection. And you can use uh, the Fat Quarter Bundle, Half Yard Bundle. I myself, I'm a fan of the Half Yard Bundle. Let me show you this one. Oh yes, because this one gives you plenty of fabric to do the quilt exactly as I'm doing. Anybody that want to just try a block or two, Fat Quarter or Fat Eight Bundle is going to work just fine. Anyway, we are so excited you are here and I can't wait you make the blocks with us. Let's start with our basket number 16. So that's this basket right here. For this basket we're gonna make a little sorto star and by now you are a pro in making those cute little sorto star. Many of you have been asking me how do I get my star so nice and accurate? You know, when I'm making my flying geese unit, so that first part, you take a quarter square triangle in light, you take a um, half square triangle in red or pink, you place the pieces right sides together, you sew it using quarter inch seam allowance, you're gonna flip it open, then you're gonna go ahead and do another triangle on the opposite sides, flip it open, at this time, I take my time and I square my unit up. What that means, I take a, either block lock ruler or regular ruler, I put it right over and I square it up. I trim all the extras and it needs to be one and a half by two and a half. If you do that, then you're gonna get a beautiful results and you're gonna have a wonderful flying geese unit so that way you can put those units right here in your uh, star and it's easy to sew the rows together and everything is matching up. I like to square things up and trim things up as I go and this is why in my patterns I always give you the finish, uh, the unfinished measurements for the units. So one and a half by two and a half is the unfinished size and this is what you're going to need to do to get a beautiful results and wonderful stars. So right now we just finished those stars and you're going to need to make four of them for this basket number 16. As soon as you finish all your stars, I'm gonna push them to the side right here. You need to go ahead and start on the base of the basket. And the base is going to be made from strips. And we have strips in color and we have strips in light fabric like this. We're gonna take our strips and we're gonna put them right sides together just like this, sew it with a quarter inch seam allowance and I'm gonna do a lot of chain sewing because I have quite a few of those because I need to make all of them for the whole basket. So go ahead and start making those and look at how nice they look and look at this, I push my seam allowance towards the dark 
towards the collar right here push my seam allowance then i'm gonna do another one another one and another one like i said chain sewing is the way to go as soon as i finished it i'm going to go ahead grab my ruler and the first thing that i'm going to do is i'm going to trim right here the edge i want to make sure i trim the edge when i'm laying my ruler down on my unit I wanted to match that middle line right here with my seam because that way I know that everything is going to be nice and straight. I'm going to trim it. Perfect. Now I'm going to go ahead, flip it this side and I'm going to start cutting my pieces at one and a half inches. So right there, I'm going to cut one, then I'm going to cut another one and you should easy get four pieces out so four pieces out of all the strip sets all the strip sets. do you see what i'm doing i'm constantly matching that line matching this line and now beautifully cutting it so that way i have a lot of beautiful pieces uh, to make tiny little four patches and another one do you see again i'm matching my line matching this line and i go ahead and cut it why am i not matching bottom and the top because that middle seam really keeps me anchored and i can follow it up because sometimes when you're sewing strips some things get a little bit off and it's nice to match with the seam because then all your units going to be just beautiful and you're gonna cut all the pieces that way because you need all different colors now you go ahead and grab two in uh, different colors you're gonna place them right sides together make sure you match color to a background color to a background do you see what i did i push the seam allowance really nice and tight towards each other and i lock the seam right there now i'm gonna stitch as soon as i finish stitching look what happened it is ready to open it up i'm gonna open it up my low four patch but in the back i'm gonna take this and open it up look at this nice seam so that way i don't have bulk right here in the seam the next step is going to be pressed beautifully as soon as you finish you're gonna go ahead and place it uh, iron it and make sure you square it out to two and a half by two and a half and i have prepared a few of them they're gonna come together really nice and quickly and you can do all different color combinations if you would like as soon as you finish them you're gonna go ahead and start sewing those units into rows and i already have my basket and i went ahead but let me show you what i mean by sewing them to rows you're gonna go ahead and line nice color combinations like this okay and you're gonna go ahead and sew those four patch units into rows as soon as you finish your rows guess what happened you're gonna sew rows together you're gonna sew your rows together the next thing you have to do is place the square on a corner sew it through the middle trim it off flip it open do the same thing on this side sew it flip it open i went ahead and did it because i could not wait then the next step we're gonna sew our stars i have one more star to do it and then all that we have to do is add a handle unit and the handle unit it's a rect it's a square that it's eight and a half by eight and a half and before i sew this to this of course i have to finish my star but then i'm gonna sew this to this but i also need a handle my handle is gonna be positioned right here and i want to applicate this handle before i sew all of this together but look at this i finished my base because i want to make sure that everything is matching and my handle begins right here at this area so i lay my handle down i take the paper off it i want to make sure that it's in the right place so it's important that you make some of the units finish it up so that way you can position your handle iron that handle right on as soon as you finish iron then now so your stars 
into one big square, eight and a half by eight and a half. Then you're gonna sew this to this, and then quickly you sew this to this, and you have your basket 16 ready, set, go. And yes, we've done this basket one once before, so you should be a pro in making this one right now. We're just quickly reviewing it to make sure you know all of the extra details. And as we making the blocks, I noticed you have some questions. So there were questions about the little saw to star and um, about a little bit about the handle. And I think we addressed this. And guess what? After working so hard, you're ready for the next basket. What it's basket 17 in our pattern. Yes, this one is going to be done very similar to the one that we just did it. You're going to start by making beautiful low four patches. This time you're using a shorter strips. Let me show you. Those are just a three and a half inches so those you're gonna place it right sides together sew it do all of the the ones that you have in the pattern it gives you exact directions how many you need of them as soon as you finish sewing you're gonna go ahead push that seam allowance towards the darker fabric then we're gonna cut it to section and i already did that i could not wait i'm so excited about making my basket as soon as you have those wonderful section you're gonna make cute little color combination and if you want it you can follow the picture you can follow this you can lay all the pieces back and forth and then have all the color combination like mine or you can go ahead and be free and you know what i did this time we included extra low strip so that way you can go ahead and make some uh, different color combination if you want to so right there as soon as you finish you're gonna go ahead and sew it flip it open and you have a beautiful four patches all the centers are nice and open and you're gonna want to go ahead and do the same thing lay your four patches in a rows just like this sew them into four rows as soon as you finish sew them together and next step you're going to place a square right here on a corner you're gonna go ahead sew it from here to here from point to point trim it off the extra axis staying away quarter inch away from the seam then flip it open and we're gonna do this the same on this side as soon as you finish Finish, you're gonna applicate a handle to your rectangle background sew it together and now you have a beautiful basket and again you have done this once before so if you want to refresh you can go ahead to one of the our earliest video but I'm pretty sure you're ready set go and you can do it it's nice and simple B remember as soon as you finish your four patches what are you going to do you you're gonna check that there are two and a half by two and a half if they are the right measurements everything is going to work really nice so your units are important that they're nice and square up to the right measurements as soon as you're done with that basket guess what i want to take a little bit extra time because we do have a brand new basket this month and this basket is so so cute let me grab the pieces and show you what we're making you're going to need a triangle for a background for a background to put a handle on it this is our low handle then we're going to need a triangle for a base then we need two nice color triangles for our base we need rectangle for the sides and we need a beautiful large six and seven eighths half square triangle for our basket and all the triangles that we have here all of them are half square triangles not a quarter square triangles and the directions for cutting are in our pattern so follow that direction and now you are ready set go super fun and simple you're going to go ahead and take one of the rectangle and place your triangle right on it then you're gonna go ahead and do the same thing right here now I want to bring them both together so you see it I take them like this to my sewing machine and now I'm gonna stitch 
right here, stop, and stitch right here. Remember, keep them this way because it's very easy to rotate something and now you have two right sides for your triangle. So no, 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 keep them together this way. And I love using my patchwork pins and pin everything in place. So as I carry things to my sewing machine from my design table, then it's nothing moves, everything is perfect. And as I'm stitching, I pull those pins away, but they are so wonderful and easy to work with. So as soon as you can sew those up, then you're gonna open it up, you're gonna push the seam allowance towards the dark, then you're gonna go ahead and we're gonna sew. Let me put those back in place. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna sew this to this. We just place it right sides together, sew it, flip it open, sew it, flip it open, and I always make sure I match it just like this. So notice how I have a bunny ear sticking up here and bunny ear sticking up here. You want it to give yourself that quarter inch seam allowance room, okay? Remember to do this. Do not do something like this. This is a mistake. You're not gonna have a beautiful basket. You want it, this to be shifted down a little bit, so pay attention, shift it down, quarter inch seam allowance, Perfect, sew it, flip it open, push your seam allowance towards the basket, and you're gonna go ahead and do the same thing on this side. So you are, uh, shift your fabric, the top unit, a little bit lower down, so this bunny ears are sticking up right here, so you have a nice entrance for a quarter inch seam allowance. And once you sew it down, you're gonna get a beautiful, beautiful basket. And guess what, I have those, pieces ready for you right here. This is a little different colors, but forgive me, I couldn't help myself. There are two color options, so one more time. As soon as you finish sewing, you're gonna open this up and you're gonna push the seam allowance towards this. See what happened? Seam allowance towards this. And now I'm going to match right here and I can tell you wanted to know doesn't matter if I sew this first or this first it does not matter just one at a time okay and the most important is that you leave that little quarter inch right here shift it down right here sew it then flip it open and right there we're gonna do the same thing on this side quarter inch flip it open, and now all that we have to do is add our handle to this triangle, and we're gonna place this right side together, sew it, flip it open, and now another one right here, sew it, flip it open. If you wanted to, you could have also go ahead and do your handle, put both triangles together, sew it, flip it open, right here this is a way to go to it does not matter and then actually this may be a little bit easier for some of you girls that you would go ahead and place this nice and even with this line and then stitch it down but just make sure that when you come up down here this is sticking up down here so that way you have a beautiful transition right here so match it up right here but down here it will stick out a little bit so that way you have a nice transition so your base of your basket now we can sew this triangle to it and it can be just beautiful. So either way, work great. I have one of the baskets finished, so let me show it to you. I am so excited. Actually, I have both of my baskets done. Do you see what happened? Look at this. I match this up and when I stitch, I pay attention where this point is so I would not run over the point and I get a really nice point. And right there, I'm gonna flip this to the back. So you see, I push all the seam allowances towards this blue. Right here, I trimmed those bunny ears later uh, as I was working on it and the basket look wonderful. Both baskets done and ready, set, go. We're gonna go ahead, put them into our block and we're gonna start by placing our baskets and then we're gonna go ahead and sew everything into a row, rows and then sew them together. So what I would do is 
This is, oh, sorry, forgive me. I'm paying attention to my handle color. I wanted to place it in the right place. It. This would be row one, row two, and I have a little bit more work to finish my first basket, and then I can go ahead and sew this together to those other baskets that I have it right here. Well, I better get to work and finish my project because guess what? Time would fly and soon enough, we're gonna be ready for basket no block number seven, our last row in our quilt. Uh, block number seven. So we just finished block number six. Now we're going to be waiting next month for block number seven. And I am so excited for you guys because I can see those beautiful pictures you're posting on the web, uh, on the Instagram and Facebook. So keep doing this. Thank you so much for joining us in for our block of the month, Anna's Basket. I am so proud of you. I hope you learned something new and exciting. So once again, with this basket, the, maybe the better idea is sew this to this, and then you don't have to worry about how to match, match the top. It's gonna be nice and easy, and you're gonna get a great result, you know? I think I'm gonna make more of those. They are just so cute. With every month, you're learning so many beautiful designs. I hope you're enjoying. Happy quilting, and I'm gonna see you next month. Mm -hmm.